Okay, this video I'm going to show you how to construct a truth table or truth value for this compound statement or by conditional statement given here. Okay, so we know let's first you know before I even start I want to make sure that we know how to start. What is the base? So how many letters are there? How many statements are there? So well, Q is one statement, P is another statement. Even though there is another letter, but it's the same as phi, so it's still is same phi. So we have only two statements. We have only two statements. So we can say phi and q. If we have a phi and q, we're going to have four options, four cases. So 50% of phi is going to be true, and 50% of phi is going to be false. And q is going to be, again, is just true false true false 25% of that 50% is going to be true 25% of that 50% is going to be true you know false and so on and so on okay now next thing i'm going to do all we have to do is call plug it in what we are looking for well also you know i mean we need to actually construct a table that's always safe we are we're going to have less mistakes so we don't put someone's dollar into someone's house in other words someone truth value into someone's place uh it's it is very lovely to have an you know, organization like that or, you know if you organize like that i'm sorry yeah so now i'm going to actually put this one down here clearly okay i'm going to just put this one down here okay so notice that i didn't have space there but i do have a space why i want to actually put down the each column as you see what is needed here you are so this if this was no negation i wouldn't need a column for this one because this is negation i need to negate it the q here okay and so as fee i need to negate and put down it and this is negation fee i need that now what we look first so we gotta focus into parentheses first so always true in the even basic math order of operation please excuse my dear and sally now inside this parenthesis there is a conjunction okay uh, and so how do we do that first we have to come up with this so i'm going to actually have some step here so what is the steps so i'm going to put down this is my step one and that is going to be my step two and that is going to give me step three and once i have a step one a step two a step three then i look into this one that i will make it a step four once i have a step three and a step four I am ready to get a step five and uh, let's you know write this down again sorry this is going to be my step five and that is the answer answer column that is going to give me the answer and that is going to give me my answer column okay so that is always good if we have steps so first step i am going to negate q Remember, this is a Q, that's not Q. So this is Q. I'm going to do this one is if you negate T, not T. In this case, we say false. This, t, this one we say true. This one we say false. This one we say true. Just like that. Now, this is a negate fee, not fee. So this is the first column we look into. Okay. So first column, we just negate it. We need a two false and two True. that's all now this is what we are going to work on and we know that we are conjunction is true only when both phi and q are true look when both phi and q are true so this is what we have to pay attention okay so now i am going to actually come up here is this i see only one combination is true otherwise all of them are false so this combination true intersect true is going to give me true otherwise all of them is going to be false so let me fill this out here so this is going to be false that is false this is false so only time i have here this one is giving me true otherwise all of them is giving me false okay now we go step four i'm going to negate the fee so here it goes coming like that again this first column is coming like that and just negate it how i negate it i'm going to put down two false and two true that's all now we are ready to get the answer finally if and only if. now i want to make sure we don't compare these two no 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 no. i want actually we are looking into three and four so 
not to get confused i'm going to cross this out that is not our business up here okay so our business is on this one and that one so if both letters are same is going to be true this is what we learned from the definition if both letter is true is going to be true this is same right true this is not true because they are different letters okay so this is false and this is this got to be true yeah that's it so that would become our answer column so this one will become our answer column here as you see so this is the definition also we use okay thank you